I never thought I'd be cooking with an air fryer until I was sent this Omo air fryer. Looking forward to sharing with you my experience. More about it in this video coming right up. Hi, welcome to Sid's Tips. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, well, welcome to Sid's Tips. If this is not your first time visiting, well, welcome back. So glad you're joining me today for me to share my experience about this Omo Air Fryer. And it's been a really great experience. And for me, it's a game changer when it comes time to cooking food. Uh, what a great experience. Uh, even though the company sent it to me, I'm gonna give you my unbiased opinion and hopefully what I'm sharing with you will help you in your decision if this is one that you might wanna order. I will put a link in the description down below, so be sure to click on that so you can get more information. If it makes sense, you can order it. So as you can see, this is a pretty big air fryer. It does take up a lot of space, uh, but uh, you know, looking at some of the air fryers, because I really hadn't been looking at them, and when I had an opportunity to put this to the test, uh, just realize having this size, it almost seems like an oven, and there's so many things that you can cook on it, and it works so, so well. I've only used it for uh, three different things uh, that I've cooked in it. I've cooked some salmon, I made some homemade french fries, and I made an attempt to make dried apples. So we'll uh, talk more about that. Now I'll also timestamp this video so you can go to a certain part of the video if you wanna check out uh, certain things about it. Uh, this is the nice big box. Uh, they've done a, a nice job here. You got your technical specs. Let's talk about the technical specs here for a quick minute since we're on there. So it's an 1800 watt unit. Uh, temperatures from for the oven setting are 180 to 400 degrees. Uh, the dehydrator temperature settings are 90 to 170 degrees. It's a 17 plus quart. The maximum oven time setting is 60 minutes, so it's got a timer, I'll show you that. And uh, it's 120 uh, volt. So those are the specs and uh, it is uh, really just a, a nice unit. So let me put that box down. Now, what else comes with it? And let's dive into that. First of all, you have your user manual and there's a lot of good information in the user manual and showing how to put together some of the accessories, especially when uh, using the rotisserie and for the chicken. I don't really eat chicken, so I didn't use that uh, in this uh, while testing the unit. So uh, it does have that information there. And then it also has a nice recipe book. It's not a huge recipe book, but there are a number of good recipes that you can choose from. And you could see there, you've got the different sections. So you've got America's number one favorite from fried chicken all the way down to apple pie. You've got your rotisserie section, the brown sugar glazed ham down to the Italian uh, roulette of beef and then dehydration. So again, you've got all that right in there uh, with nice images and you've got uh, just, you know, how to cook it. So, which is great. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about what's included and then I'll talk about the unit. So first of all, you have the skewer rack and this is great for your roasting meats and vegetables. So you've got the two ends. Uh, also, you have the rod that goes in the middle. Uh, on both sides. And then lastly, you have the skewers. I have not used that, but this is available if this is something that you might wanna use for cooking with. So that's great. Now you'll find this rod is gonna be useful for a number of the accessories. So uh, that's something that you'll use often. The next up, we have the rotisserie forks, and this is great for your chicken and turkeys to hold that there. And then these just go on the inside of the rod like this. And then it lays inside the inner part of the unit where it connects. And then you just have to work with it a little bit. It just slides right in. And then on the inside there, there's two ends where they connect to there. And we'll talk about that and I'll demonstrate that actually with the rotating basket. So again, you have that there, those are the rotisserie forks. All right, next up we have the handle and this is for removing the skewer rack so you don't have to worry about burning yourself. 
And actually, let me go ahead and demonstrate that so you can see that that's how well that works. So they've really designed this well. And let me move the trays for a minute. We'll talk about the trays here in a second. So we'll lay that down. And the way this works, this goes on the left-hand side and this pokes right in there. This lays on that like this. And then you will use that. Now you can pull it out with the handle. This goes in like this, like that. Let me move this out of the way a little bit. And then you could pull that up, pop this out, and then take it out. So pretty cool system that they've developed. All right, we'll put that to the side. So next up, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the rotating basket. Rotating baskets, great for your zucchini fries, your french fries, and other items that you want to rotate in there. Uh, as you can see, and let me go ahead and put that in there. This will take up the entire space of the unit. And you can see it takes the whole space. And so you wouldn't be able to use the wire racks the wire, wax, the wire racks is what I've mostly used and that I've used for my salmon, making homemade french fries, and then also trying to make dried apple. Uh, and everything seems to be very well made and I really like their different systems they have. And I guess you can also, if you wanted to, you could use the handle to pull that out as well. So, works perfectly. And I'm gonna demonstrate how it rotates uh, once I turn the unit on. So that is everything that is included. Uh, the, oh, the last thing here, you got your dripping tray, so nice and easy to clean the unit. Now, one thing I will say is you can see I have to kind of like put it on an angle because the way this door is made, it has this handle that sticks out. It's a metal handle. So what you might want to do is move the unit closer to the edge so then you can have it laying flat and it will lay this way and then it's easier to pull out. But it hasn't been too much of an issue, but just be aware of that. I think that's one of the things about the unit that something that they should have thought about, but it's, it, it seems to have not be too much of an issue. And then you've got your shelves to put your trays there. And then you can cook and you're good to go. You can see you got a lot of space to work with, which is really nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn the unit on. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you and highlight all the features. So it's got a really nice display here. So first of all, you have your light button, you're on and off. So if you wanted to see the inside, uh, again, you got your light on and off. This is your power button and this is your rotating button. So now what you're gonna do is press the power button. You can see there you've got uh, the temperature. You can, uh, actually that's the temperature, uh, that's your timer there. So you can, uh, again, hold that arrow button and you can do up to one hour and you can do as small and short as one minute. So that's very nice dis touch display. And then as far as the temperature, you can do 400 and you can go all the way down to, let's see, we'll take it all the way down to 90 degrees. Then you have your shortcuts. You've got your fries, your meat, your fish, um, your shrimp. And then you can also, if you want to, let's just say you want to uh, use a shortcut. This is for dehydration. Um, and your, your other vegetables and other items, there are different shortcuts there that you can choose from. So you can see french fries, you can do 20 minutes. And then once you find that you want, so it will actually set the temperature. So you can use these if you choose to do so. And then once you are ready to go, uh, if you don't want to use it, then you could just turn it on and then you can do your own adjustment. But it, it is picking the fish or you could, I guess what you can do is turn it off. If you don't want to use that setting, turn it back on and then just simply pick how much time you want to cook something and also the temperature. Now, we do have the rotating basket as you could see in there. So if I turn it on and I press the power button and now I hit the rotating, you could see how the basket is rotating and then if you want to turn that off, you could turn that off as well. Now, once you uh, set it to your time and it does 
finish up. Once it gets done, it shuts off, it beeps, and we'll let you know. You can hear the unit is a little loud, not terribly loud. When I cook my fish in it, I do smell the fish, and I'll tell you what, when it comes out, it comes out beautifully. When I use this for hydrating, for the apples to dry them out, they say you really need to set that for about eight hours to really get a real uh, dried apples. But I, I did attempt it for an hour and I was able to get them crunchy, but then I noticed after a little bit, they started um, getting a little soggy. So you really need to, when taking advantage of this unit for, uh, you know, you wanna dry out uh, an oranges or, or apples as in my case, then do be prepared to put on a low temperature for almost an entire day basically while you're working. Uh, so uh, I didn't want to run it that long, but you can see now it's off and now it just keeps uh, beeping just to let you know. And I guess it starts just cooling off. And then you could, what I do after once it's over, I just unplug it and then I'm done. So that's the unit. Uh, again, I am really impressed with it. Uh, as far as cleaning it, very easy to clean. You got the uh, stainless on the inside, wipes it down. Very, very easy to maintain. It works well. I love how my fish has come out, so I'm eating more salmon, and I love getting that with the fries. It tastes so good. And I look forward to trying other recipes as well. Uh, let me know what you think of the unit. I really like it, and I would definitely give it a, a thumbs up. And even though they sent it to me, this is a unit I just love, love, love. And it's just taking my cooking experience to the next level. I'm looking forward to cooking some other items. So I've used it very simple to this point. Looking forward to taking advantage of it uh, in the future. And I uh, appreciate the company sending it to me. And I appreciate you joining me today. So thanks so much. Enjoy your cooking and have a great day. Take care.